Yo, what's up viewers of YouTube? My name's Tyler of Chico Crypto and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. Let me get this sip of water and a cap on my tower and then we will start. So, let's talk about Elastos. In my last Breaking Down the Blockchain video, I gave a general overview of the entire Elastos architecture. I talked about the Elastos dual blockchain base layer structure, sidechains, Elastos runtime, SDK, and the P2P network carrier. If you haven't checked out that video, click the pop-up at the top and it will take you directly to it. Now that we have a general understanding of the multiple components of this far-reaching project, let's understand each specific component. Today I would like to discuss the Elastos blockchain structure and why it is different from other blockchains. Down the road a few years, the future of blockchains could rest upon the merged mined dual blockchain structure that is the base layer of the Elastos architecture. With Elastos, this lowest level blockchain is the Bitcoin blockchain. To understand why Bitcoin is used as the lowest level blockchain, we need to understand why Bitcoin is still the most dominant blockchain to this day. In simple terms, it's because of security. As most of us know, Bitcoin uses a time-tested proof-of-work algorithm. Proof-of-work operates on the principle that it is expensive to add a new block of transactions to the blockchain. The cost of a block is the work that has to be done through calculations or better known as mining. A mining node has to calculate the correct hash signature. The hash signature is calculated using three known values inside the block and one random value known as a nonce. Looking at this infographic right now, we can see why Bitcoin's proof of work is practically impossible to cheat at. If everybody is working on block 91 and the miner wants to alter a single transaction contained in block 74, the attacker would need to make his changes, then redo all the computations for block 74 to 90, including all the calculations described above, and then do a block 91. That's 18 blocks of extremely expensive computing, and they would have to do it all before the entirety of the Bitcoin network finished just the single block they are working on. So Bitcoin is about as secure as it gets, and this will be the case for the foreseeable future. And Elastos considered this when designing their blockchain structure. As we know, though Bitcoin is secure, it is slow, only reaching 5 to 7 transactions per second. And it's not suitable for smart contracts, which will be an integral part of a blockchain-based web. Elastos views Bitcoin and its blockchain for what it is a distributed accounting book, which should only store and authorize critical details. It should be obvious, with 7 billion people on this planet and their needs for automation, a single blockchain design would not be functional whatsoever. That is why Elastos has designed their blockchain structure to consist of multiple layers of blockchains, with the lowest level blockchain, the primary blockchain, is responsible for the security policy, which is backed by the largest amount of computational power. That is why the Elastos main chain, which launched in December 2017, is a pure proof-of-work mechanism which mimics the Bitcoin blockchain and can be merged mined in conjunction with that blockchain. This lower level of the Elastos architecture, composed of the Bitcoin blockchain and the Elastos blockchain, serve only a few yet critical functions. Number one would be the distribution and transmission of the critical virtual currencies, which are Bitcoin and Elastos tokens, as well as providing identification assistance and validation assistance to the sidechains. This is why transactions per second of these blockchains does not matter, as Elastos blockchain will never be clogged by just confirming identities and access to sidechains. Here is something few people know about the future of the Elastos main chain. Elastos will be transitioning from a pure proof-of-work consensus on their main chain to a hybrid proof-of-work and delegated proof-of-stake consensus. 40% of new ELA will be mined through traditional proof-of-work, 40% will be distributed through DPoS, and 20% of new coins will go to the foundation for ecosystem growth. This is going to happen in the next 2-3 to three years and I will explain why this was chosen. 
Proof of work was chosen in order to control the monetary base of Elasto's coins. The proof of work mechanism enables digital currency participants an open channel to access to the project and community. The mining hard costs make a sort of guarantee to the coin's price. Miners will never sell the digital currency they mine below what it costs to mine them. Since the need for greater computing power leads to rising mining costs, the price of the currency continues along a stable uptrend. But with proof of work, coin holders do not participate in any decision making. The fact of the matter is the power in proof of work is concentrated in the hands of the big miners. This is the opposite of decentralization, and the mining participants are only incentivized to act in their best interests, not the holders of the coin. This is why Elastos is choosing to create a hybrid consensus mechanism with delegated proof of stake. With proof of stake consensus, it relies on the amount of currency held and the length of time that that currency is held. On the contrary, delegated proof of stake is like a technological democracy, and it works like this. People in a particular crypto community, in this case Elastos, vote for witnesses to secure their net computer network. The weight of their votes is based on how many tokens they hold. Based on the design of the DPoS, only a certain number of witnesses get paid for their service. Because becoming a witness can become very profitable, and as the community grows, it becomes harder to become one of those paid witnesses due to increased competition. If the witness begins acting like an asshole or stops doing a quality job, people in the community can remove their votes, essentially firing the bad actor. By combining these two consensus algorithms, we get the economic benefits of proof of work with the democracy benefits of a delegated proof of stake. Coin holders and miners will be able to participate in voting and together take part in major decisions for the Elastos community. They will be able to influence pre-programmed updates such as SegWit, blockchain growth, and more. If these updates are widely accepted, the developers don't need to intervene as the chain will automatically fork to match the update. Unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum, which are a single blockchain, the Elastos blockchain structure is different. It is a multi-level blockchain structure that consists of the bottom Bitcoin primary chain, the Elastos blockchain, which is currently proof of work, but will switch to a hybrid proof of work and delegated proof of stake, and on top of the Elastos blockchain is what we haven't dove into. It is the sidechains. The Elastos sidechain white paper has just dropped. So in my next video, we will be diving into the sidechains and how they will communicate with the Elastos blockchain. What's funny is the entire Ethereum blockchain could literally end up being a sidechain on top of Elastos and it wouldn't have the limitations of network congestion. I'll also dive into that at a later date. Slowly but surely, Chico Army, we will understand Elastos for what it is, the most revolutionary blockchain project in existence. Cheers, viewers. Thanks for taking this time to learn about the blockchain, especially the Elastos blockchain. Stay tuned for the next episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain, where we will be diving into the sidechain white paper of Elastos. It's going to be a doozy. Cheers.